What does it mean to be for you to be a Muslim and a filmmaker? So how does that combination influence who you are and how you go about doing your art, your craft, or your trade, or however you want to phrase it? So as a as a Muslim, who uh, I hope I'm practicing in the sense that inshallah Allah will accept my uh, deeds as a Muslim. Um, I want to. Um, not only practice my religion in a secular way where it's separate from my uh, professional life or my thinking life or my uh, outside of the home life but i find that my faith is part of my life it's a way of life it's not just something i believe in but it's something i practice and it has to be something that i practice throughout my life in every aspect of it in my relationships in the way i think in the way i conduct myself and in the jobs and the work that i do and I think as a, 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 a Muslim who wants to um, practice his faith within the work that he does, within the art that he does, it influences what I do as a, Mus as a filmmaker. So there'll probably be many themes or many uh, conventions of filmmaking which I wouldn't subscribe to as a Muslim. Um, having said that, I would never... I would never impose my belief on someone else. Uh, if someone else wants to do whatever, that's that's their prerogative. That's their freedom to do that. But as as a as an individual who's responsible for myself, I have certain um, uh, limitations. So I may, I may not show certain scenes if I want to make a film. I may show them in a different way. I may not um, tackle some themes um, where I don't find them necessarily important, where I find other themes important. So I've done many documentaries since my graduation uh, at university. I've done documentaries, as I said, about Muslims and how they live in the West and how they try to be successful in the West and how they try to be um, progressive and to try to um, um, basically be a positive role model for themselves and their community. And that probably derived from the fact that I want to show normality of Muslims to non-Muslims and to fellow Muslims who live in the West. To say that, um, yes, there's a lot of Islamophobia within media towards Muslims. And uh, we have to acknowledge that. Um, some people even deny that, but this is, uh, this is true. This, this is a fact that this can't be um, denied. But as Muslims, we're responsible. Filmmakers, uh, we're responsible because we have that power, the tool of voice, uh, of talking about what is um, Islam to non-Muslims through the perspective of Muslims not filtered through anti-Muslim perspective. So it's our responsibility to show this. Now, some people may do it with short films. Some people do it with documentaries. Uh, some people do it with feature films. I think feature films less because it's more difficult to make a great feature film, to have it distributed. You need the, you know, the connections and the abilities and the networks and the, mm -hmm. the, the financial support. Documentaries are much easier to make. Uh, they cost less money. Um, they are... Uh, the ability to do them uh, is there, alhamdulillah. There's a lot of young people making programs. I know some in California. We know some in other in the eastern coast of America, mm -hmm. in UK, other places. They are doing it. They are coming through. And even they're submitting some of their documentaries to different festivals and they're getting recognized. And this is good. Um, I think what we need to do is work together. So uh, the perspectives that we have uh, as Muslims who live in the West, because at the end of the day, um, I, I, with the stuff that I want to do, it's not about me converting non-Muslims to Islam. I'm not trying to take over a country or I'm not trying to impose an ideology on them. What I want them to see is the beauty or an aspect of this great, beautiful religion that I follow mm -hmm. and say, okay, so you share a lot of the values that I share. The respect for parents, the respect for your neighbor. The, um, not to steal from that one, not to harm someone, not mm -hmm. to um, uh, cause uh, difficulty or hardship, to be charitable, to say good things, not to be a person where, you know, people are afraid of you. These are things that I want to convey. So when they see a Muslim, they're like, well, I don't have a, you know, I'm happy, you know, I'm happy to see you. I don't have a problem with you. Especially because, for example, Muslim women wear hijab, those who are practicing. Sometimes mm -hmm. us men, it's a little bit more difficult for someone to, who, who lives in the West, who has seen a negative aspect of Islam. We, they'll find it hard to come and approach us because I'm a guy that may be a little bit scared to try and be rude or whatever towards me. 
But if they see my mom, if they see my child, if they see my uh, sister or wife or whatever, or my sister in Islam who wears hijab, she can become an easy target. And if mm-hmm. they don't have a good perspective of Muslims and they have anger in their life and they direct it towards that person because they find her to be an easy target because she's carrying Islam's flag on her head in the sense that she, by putting that hijab on, she has made herself the target of of people who want to cause harm to Muslims. And we as Muslim men have to remember that and have to value some of the stuff that our women go through. And we have to try and um, using media, using you know films and documentaries and programs to make understanding, to, to build bridges between people who don't understand Islam and Islam. So when they see a Muslim with hijab, this instead of thinking, uh, you know, what is she trying to hide? They'll think, I understand what she's trying to do because Mary, mother of Jesus, used to work, cover her head. You know, the sister of and the mother of Moses, the prophet of uh, Judaism and, and, and Christianity and Islam, they used to cover their head. This is not something alien to Christianity or to the Abrahamic faith, but this is a continuation. So she's not alien. She's a progression of the values that most Christians believe in. Because in the Bible, it also says, cover your head when you go to the church. So Mm -hmm. they have to see the positive aspect of Islam instead of the negative. And I think my faith, um, which I try to uh, maintain, is to guide me in that sense with the work that I do. And it could feed into, you know, short films, it could feed into f- feature films, inshallah, in the future. And feeds into definitely the sh- the, a lot of the documentaries that I've done, and inshallah, we can do more together with the young Muslim filmmakers that are coming out.